Hey guys, Wire here. I uh, thought I'd do a, a wooden handle screwdriver. I've never done one before. Uh, this one needs a little bit of TLC. Uh, the, the blade in the shank looks really good, just rusty. Uh, we can do it another paint job. Um, so uh, I've got a bunch of wooden handle screwdrivers that need some work. I'm do them one at a time. What I'm trying to do here is I'm getting rid of all my Chinese tools, taking them up to flea market and selling them for 50 cents, and I'm I'm just uh, I'm stocking my uh, toolboxes with American-made stuff, and uh, I'm getting tired of uh, using tools made out of peanut butter and marshmallows. Anyway, guys, um, let's get to it and. Uh, See what this looks like when we get done. Be right back. Okay, here we are, this post wire brush. Um, they said there's really nothing wrong with this other than need a little bit of cleaning up. So what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna sand down this uh, handle a little bit so it'll take paint a little bit better. And um, I'm gonna polish up uh, the shank and the uh, ferrule. Uh, so let me uh, get the uh, belt sander set up and we'll go through that. Okay, fellas, um, this is all done. What I want to do is put some uh, butcher's wax, bowling alley wax on, on the shank in here, polish it up, and uh, I think we'll be good to go. And as you can see, I'm using this as a tool that I'm not supposed to, but it's handy.
Okay, let's let this sit and dry for a little bit and then we'll uh, bring the buffing wheel over and we'll polish her up. Okay, everybody, we're all finished. Uh, turned out really, really nice. Uh, the original handle was black, and I um, I, I didn't get all the black off the handle. I, I kind of like, uh, I, I kind of like it looking a little black and brown. Um, I don't take it all the way down to the uh, to the um, original color of the wood. I think it turned out really nice. I like, I like that kind of finish. Um, turned out real nice, polished up real good. Like I said, there really wasn't nothing wrong with the with the um, the blade or the shank. It wasn't bent or anything. It just needed a little bit of uh, cleaning up. But uh, it turned out real, real nice. So I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to put it in my uh, toolbox. And I do use these. Uh, there are certain tools I collect and some tools I use. But uh, like I said, it turned out real nice. And uh, Magdad, tell... Uh, Chuck that I ordered some flits. I kind of like the way that stuff works. A buddy of mine used it on um, the aluminum of his motorcycle. And I was really surprised on how um, how shiny it got. So I'm going to get some myself and uh, use it in here and use it on my bike as well. And uh, anyway, fellas, um, I had a lot of guys email me um, <clears throat> wanting to know when I'm going to be doing another uh, radio uh, video, a radio restoration video and uh, I, I started this this channel out to do radios and vintage electronic equipment and now it's turned into a, a tool and electronics um, if you can in the comments uh, let me know if you if you would like me to do a, a radio restoration uh, video because I do have a few of my like to restore because I've noticed um, when I do one of those a lot, I don't get a lot of views but uh, I, I still would like to do one just let me know in the comments Anyway, fellas, if you like the uh, video, give me a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys later. This is Wire. See ya!